Hi, everyone. Welcome to uh, this part of the webinar about computer science and engineering at uh, the Eindhoven University of Technology. My name is Bas. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself first. I'm uh, 22 years old right now. Um, I'm already in my fifth year of studying uh, in Eindhoven, uh, which means I'm in my first year of my master, the Master uh, Industrial and Applied Mathematics. Uh, however, before this, I did the combined Bachelor uh, of Computer Science and Engineering and Applied Mathematics um, at the university, of course. Uh, I've been living in Eindhoven ever since I started here, um, and I'm originally from Zutphen. It's more the northern part of, uh, of the Netherlands. Um, uh, but of course, you're not here for me. Uh, you're here for, for more information about my study program. So um, first of all, I'm going to tell you what uh, makes Eindhoven special, uh, especially computer science here, of course. So um, in Eindhoven, we have something called the Bachelor College. The Bachelor College means that um, you have some basic courses, courses that all bachelors at the university have. Uh, th these include uh, physics, calculus, um, data engineering, and some others, um, which basically mean that you're being um, you're being taught how to be a good engineer in general. You're getting the engineering basics on top of the specialization of your personal bachelor program. Um, apart from this, we also have uh, uh, something called USE, which means uh, User Society and Enterprise, and that's a package of courses, three courses in total, uh, that you have to choose, um, which teach you about something outside of the technical aspect of your program. They try to actually place you as an engineer into the real world and make you think about, uh, well, what what is the eth ethics side of, of the choices that I make? How do I make ethical choices? Or um, uh, one of the, the packages is about um, how to be an entrepreneur, how to turn my ideas into an actual, um, uh, into, an, into an actual company. So um, that's also something that we have to choose. And that's also, part of your bachelor program here. Um, and lastly, something that I'm most excited about, uh, or I think is the best part uh, of the bachelor college is that uh, it, we have a lot of elective uh, uh, room in our uh, bachelor program. Uh, this elective room is uh, 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 consists of courses that you, can, that you have to choose, of which some are part of a package, uh, and they replace your usual minor. So this means um, that uh, this part of your bachelor program is completely up to you how you fill it. You can fill it with uh, courses from or other computer science courses, some specific uh, stream or package that you're interested in. Uh, but you can also choose to do something from chemistry or physics or mathematics uh, if you're interested in any of those uh, uh, programs. So you can really make your, your program your own. Um, and well, of course, apart from this, we are uh, a university of technology, uh, which means that we try to apply the theoretics, theoretical parts that we that we learn. Um, uh, and we really do that in our program, too. Um, and uh, uh, we also have a final project, which is not like your usual, um, uh, you, like your usual bachelor, where you do a research pro project uh, at our university or at our computer science program, actually, because it's the only program in Eindhoven that does this, uh, we do a project for an actual customer. So there is a professor at the university. He needs to have some software engineering project done or a company in Eindhoven that thinks, well, we need to have this done by a student. They come to our university, and that's the project you will do at the end of your bachelor. Um, so that's really what, what makes Eindhoven special as opposed to other, uh, other cities in the Netherlands. Um, then, of course, uh, apart from all these special things outside of your program or your, in, and your final project, you're also interested in what is it actually inside your program, of course, uh, which are these, these topics. So uh, we have theory and algorithms, which is, I guess, the most important part and the largest part of it, uh, where you learn how to develop algorithms that you can then turn into programs or software uh, that help solve your pro uh, problem, but also how to uh, prove that these algorithms are actually right and do what they have to do within a considerable time, because that's very important too. Um, we also have software development, so translating that those algorithms into actual software, how to develop it to be uh, sustainable for the future, um, how other people can also uh, read your code, uh, and we learn about that too. Um, we have system architecture and networks, which teach you about the ins and outs of a single system uh, on a very low level, actually on the level of, um, 
of a single processor, how it works, up to the very highest level of a network of computers, how they communicate, uh, how they work together, um, and look at all the theoretical aspects of those uh, of those levels of, of, of systems. You have web technology, uh, which basically means anything that you would um, that that is about uh, interaction between a human and a uh, and a system or a computer or a website or an application. Um, the more psychological part of this, how to visualize things in an understandable way, uh, how to place uh, uh, buttons in on your website so that people can find them easily, uh, things like that. We have data mining and machine learning in the program a little bit, which is uh, which, which goes into the data science part of things. So when you have data about people or about uh, anything, about cities, how do I turn this into value? How do I get the relevant data from this? Uh, and how can I teach a machine actually to, uh, to recognize certain data uh, and give me a solution about them afterwards, uh, autonomously, of course. Um, and also information systems. Uh, which kind of links with the previous one, but it's more about um, how the information flows and how we can store it um, efficiently so that we can, when, when we want to request certain data or certain information, uh, that we can actually do that in a safe and an efficient manner. Um, and lastly, you see these, uh, these italic uh, uh, words, design-based learning. It's not an actual part of our program, but it is a, a certain type of course. Uh, we have at least uh, three courses in our program uh, on top of our, our final project that are uh, courses like this. And what it basically means that you're doing a project. So uh, at the start of your period, you get uh, a project, uh, a problem from, well, uh, often a very practical problem from real life. Uh, and you're be being put in a group or you can choose your group and you're, you're being told, well, you have all this knowledge from these previous courses, go do your thing, solve it. Um, often with a little a bit of guidance, uh, with some extra theory on top of it uh, that you need to solve that specific problem. Um, but yeah, they really let you apply the things that you learn in the theoretical courses uh, into an actual project. So, all fun and games. Uh, if, you're, if you've done computer science here, all done all those things that I just told you, what can you do after? Well, most people, of course, do a master program. I think that's uh, common uh, everywhere. Um, we have some uh, in Eindhoven too. We have a computer science master, which just is the bachelor, but, but the master version, of course. Um, we have data science. We have an, uh, um, a security master, um, a data science and artificial intelligence master is coming up. Um, and we have an embedded systems master, which kind of is the, the part, uh, the overlap between computer science and electrical engineering. So those you can do in Eindhoven, but there are many masters to choose from throughout the Netherlands or throughout the world even. So um, yeah, that's up to you, of course. But uh, if you don't want to do a master and want to start your career immediately, then there's also many options. Um, the most uh, common option, of course, is so being a software engineer. Uh, just program your, your way into, uh, uh, into business. Um, but you can also go a step higher and be a project manager in IT. So you kind of um, manage software engineers or software projects uh, in this case. Um, consultancy is often uh, a route that people go for, uh, where you solve problems for other companies that they, that they have and they come to you for. Um, and all these things are being applied everywhere in society. Um, that's the, the most fun thing about it, is, is it's, it's not just one type of, of job that you can have. All companies and all sides of society need uh, IT specialists and computer scientists. So you 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 can go everywhere if you want. Um, a nice thing about Eindhoven is that it's part of the Brainport region, which means that there uh, are a lot of startups here, small companies that want you. Um, it's one of the smartest regions in the world. Uh, so the level here is very high, and there are, and which means that more companies come every every year. Uh, it's growing constantly, so uh, really, it's no problem getting a job here if you uh, if you uh, if you finish studying here. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about my personal final project after my uh, my bachelor. Um, it's called Waterproof. There was one professor at our university. They uh, 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 he was like, well, I see all these mathematics students in their first year. They are struggling. Uh, learning how to uh, write proofs for mathematical theory. 
it's a difficult thing to learn. Um, I'm in a bet mathematics bachelor myself, or I did that, uh, and I experienced that it's very difficult to do that. Um, now there is this this programming language. It's called Coq. It's an unfortunate name, but it's um, uh, uh, it it helps you do this. So you can write your proof in the language, and the language or the the, the uh, back end of Coq they um, give you feedback about well. These are the things that are still missing. This is the current status of your proof. And this is the, a likely next step. Um, however, it turned out that the editors for this, pro for this language were very bad. So this professor thought, well, I want to use this language, but uh, I need a new editor for this. And that's where I came to the university and said uh, to us, well, please do this for me. Uh, we were given 10 weeks uh, with a group of 10 very enthusiastic uh, students. And we built our program, and it's right now being used in a first year's course. Uh, the pilot, it's already the second year that's being piloted. Uh, it's a larger pilot now with uh, tens of 20 people or something using it now. So, um, yeah, that's very nice. It's cool to see my project actually being used in real life. Uh, but there are also many other projects, at least four within your bachelor that you do. Uh, this is just one example of something that you could think of, uh, of applying your uh, your skills within your bachelor here. Well, I want to I want to summarize real quick. So, um, uh, what makes computer science and Eindhoven special for me? Why why I chose it? Um, Eindhoven is a very, a relatively small scale university, especially uh, compared to other universities in the Netherlands, which means that it's always easy to go to a teacher when you need uh, when you when you have a question, or when you need something. Um, uh, there's a great atmosphere. People are nice and very casual. Um, so that's something that I really like about it. Um, I, I told you a little bit about uh, the room that you have for elective space within your program to choose your own courses. Uh, well, that means it's easy to combine it with other programs and choose your own specialization within your program. Um, and also even like I did, you can combine two complete bachelor programs together, uh, which is easy or easy. It's, it's a standard thing to do for mathematics, computer science. Um, but you can also do it with other programs, but that re requires more effort than, uh, than these two. Uh, and of course, there's lots of applications within your bachelor here. Uh, a lot of applying your, your skills into projects, uh, which is something that I personally enjoy the most about it. So um, uh, I hope I gave you some information about uh, computer science in Eindhoven. I hope it was useful. Uh, if you have any questions, then please ask them. Then I can answer them in the chat uh, during the webinar. And uh, yeah, uh, have fun watching the other uh, presentations.